playing such an important part of growing up. We should tell them. About the baby? I don't want them to hear from somebody else. Okay. Kids? They're gonna be happy. Next. We're having a baby. <laughs> <laughs> he just blurted it out. You're gonna have a new little brother or little sister to play with. Which one? Which one would you like? A puppy? You can have a puppy and a baby. Dexter, stop talking! But you're not even married. Oh, damn. No. No, we're not. Why not? Oh, shit. I never really thought about it. Pressure. You know, I'm gonna grab the potato salad so I don't forget. Husband and father. <laughs> Sounds so upstanding, harmless. Much better than lives alone, keeps to himself. Yeah, it's a better cover. Should we? Should we what? Get married. Thanks. Cool. You'd be my dad. <laughs> Look, this is not something we're going to decide today. Go get your stuff together. We don't want to be late for the Prados. Hmm. Dex, it was ridiculous. <laughs> the only roles I had trouble with were good guys. Heroes, knights in shining armor. <laughs> Dexter, what were you thinking? Proposing to me like that? Oh, sorry, with the baby and all, it just made sense. People don't get married because it makes sense. They don't? Would you have asked me to marry you if I wasn't pregnant? I don't know. I married Paul because I was pregnant. I won't marry again unless it's because someone loves me. Mm -hmm. I understand why you feel that way. Father and being a husband are two very different things. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be both. I don't want both, unless it's real. How do you show someone real love when you don't even know what it feels like? Right. I don't know how to do that. Just another oh, come on, for your family. How about I go for my family? Hmm? No. Not that. I got it. He's obsessed. He's drinking more than usual. Mm. He's not going to stop looking for Oscar's killer until they takes them all the way down. Ramon and I have shared and have kept each other's secrets all mm -hmm. of our lives. It's not just your secret. Right. Which is why I'm asking you. No. He's a temper. He's my brother. I can help you. See, this is where it's going to get messy. Don't tell no one else. He needs to know that Fribo's dead. It's a big burden. Not everybody can handle a secret like that. Right? You're uncomfortable enough with me knowing. Right? Yeah. Trusting my brother is just... It's too much right now, I get it. Actually, you do. Don't worry about it. Not a chance. <coughs> this won't go away. Miguel can't see what a loose cannon his brother is. Mm-hmm. He might need some perspective. Uncle Miguel, ask him oh, when he's playing the cabin. Up, Don't worry, buddy. Who's rule? You're not my father. <gasps> Look at her! Esther. She she's to Dexter. Baby. You think? Mm -hmm. She's jealous. But she always liked Dexter, but now since they having a baby, she's acting different. Like she's reacting to my botched proposal. I don't think it's just the marriage. It's the new baby. She said she's not gonna be special anymore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> I know my Dexter's like, how'd you figure she's that out? Aster is auditioning various roles, child, oh, sullen, preteen, bad. oppressed youth, finding out who she wants to play. I can't force my way into Rita's life any more than I can force Miguel to trust me over his own brother. I need to take a cue from Aster. Yeah, she was on Better Call Saul. Well, real love plus loss. She was married to is that what Rita needs to see in me? And they took off with the money? Could be a problem. Oh, that's Fiona Camp. She came to me to Vic for a movie. She saw the assailant. He knocked her over as he fled. That's how she got the bum knee. We could barely get her to let go of him. Mm -hmm. Damn, your butt's buzzing. Christ. Quinn here yet? Yeah, I just saw him pull up. <laughs> Jesus, her you should have beat me here driving this thing. Yeah, I got stuck on the causeway behind a small car. I know you're in more with a shield, but come on. Jack Rice, 34, his head's caved in. Looks like a B and E gone sideways, bunch of priors in the area. Witnesses? I'm sure he was a great guy. 
But the man you saw fleeing, he was about six foot, you said? I met Jack at the coffee place where I work. Something inside of me just recognized him, even though we never met. Have you ever felt that way before? Too many times. Sam's <laughs> <laughs> like, I've had my share. What? I'm, I'm staying with Jack. Jack has to go to the morgue. Francis is going to need her clothes. Well, why don't you tell her? You can't take that. It's his favorite cat. Ma'am, the cat needs to come with me. Mm -mm. No. Sorry, Fiona. Right here. I'm telling you that I personally make sure that hat comes back to you on the horn. It's good. Oh no. Right. Is there anything else you want to keep, Jacks? Maybe one of his shirts. Good with that. He's like the fucking witness whisperer. <laughs> <laughs> witness Maybe whisper. he should propose to read it for me. <laughs> <laughs> for me. You're my little girl, and you always will be. You know that, right? Mm -hmm. Rita, you in there? Something's gonna happen. She looks like she don't feel good. She might not pass out. We want your best room. The honeymoon suite is our best room. There's always a better room. Sounds How about a one-hour spa? I room. want a better room. But we don't have a better room unless you build one, and being a bitch isn't going to change that. Oh! Oh, shit. Some trouble. I don't know what's going on, but honestly, it's always something. Mm. I'm really sorry, but I just can't afford to employ you anymore. Oh. Inspire her? Yeah. Some people are ticking time bombs. Ramon is one of them. Oh, and Miguel shit. likes to see him explode. She called her a bitch. She, she was a bitch. Her. That's a role I've always been good at. Pick up for Morgan. Oh god, he's not gonna hurt him, is he? Ramon. It's your secret spot, right? Not anymore. <laughs> no, don't worry, I'll keep it between the three of us. Oh, and can I get some extra pickles? Just wants to stay and talk. Oh, right, you left. It's minor turf war. Don't worry, I watched out for him. Carlos is a tough kid. He can hold his own. Sure you want to be drinking that? Next if I wasn't sure, I wouldn't drink it. You know, Miguel's worried about you. Dexter. No offense, Dexter. Mm. But if Miguel has a problem with me, he will tell me himself. Right. Right. But, yeah, he will again, if he needs to. What goes on between me and my brother is between me and my brother. Absolutely. I just happened to be there when Miguel <clears throat> needed someone to talk to. My mother was killed when I was a kid. I'm sorry. So, I know how it feels. <laughs> so it it's easier. Why do you laugh? Like Miguel said, when he accepted his loss and found closure, he moved on. Hey! Nobody is accepting anything. When your homicide department gets off its ass and starts doing its fucking job, maybe then me and my brother will move on. Leave it alone, Dexter. He's too hot. I must have misinterpreted what he said. Yeah, you did. Well, enjoy your dinner. You tell Carlos I said howdy. <laughs> So you'll see for himself, see your brother is a hothead. Watch. I knew I'd find you still here. It brings you to these plants. I wanted to ask you about Chicky Hines. Mm, yeah? I told you I reviewed his statement. But you never talked to him. Have you even met Chicky Hines? I mean, have you, have you read his jacket? Because it's... Hines didn't do this. Okay. Mm -hmm. He doesn't care. Well, what's this really about? An innocent man behind bars. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Accepting the truth about James Stokes, that was hard for all of us. What? That ain't got shit to do with this. Wow. I wasn't expecting that. He's your friend. And maybe that's coloring how you're seeing Hines. I'll admit, it was hard. But you know me. You know I'm a pro. I also know you're human like the rest of us. Hmm. 